I'm Paul Nixon, the CEO of Corporate Time, and I'm here to answer in this video one question. And the question is, why should you use benchmarking? Many people think that benchmarking is just about league tables and where you come in, what position, and how, whether you've gone up one year or down, or down another. But in fact, I think that that's, although it's a very important part of benchmarking, the actual measurement and, and, and positioning and so on, the main output is actually all about the ideas. It's about staying on top of the constantly changing best practice landscape that, that goes on around the world and looking for the best ideas to save you the most time so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And the best ideas for the company concerned are not always the same. What should drive them is the things that are based on mo what is most important for the company, but also what gives the biggest return on investment for the company. So, our approach then takes that into account. We consistently look for the best practices, the best ideas that are going on across the internet. What we then do is also pieces of research that say, not only what are the best ideas, but how could you take that further? What are the ways that we see, based on the trends or what the end, those end stakeholders actually need, that those areas might evolve? How could you better serve the, those needs further, better, in a, in a richer way? And having done that research, we then customize and select based on what the, the company says is important for it so that we come up with strategies that best serve our clients. So in doing that, the clients get the most value. We guide them to do the things that will have the biggest impact on them so that they can improve their corporate communications the most. Our value proposition is in five areas to support this. First, a very strong focus on return on, on investment for our services, whether that's to help reduce costs or to improve revenue or change the way that your shareholders think of you through improved uh, understanding of your business model, your strategy, your investment proposition, which helps improve your share price or your market cap. Second, reducing the risks, primarily in the reputational area, through better communication of how you comply with key areas such as the United Nations Global Compact Principles, or indeed how you are dealing with issues in those areas, how you address negative sentiment online, and how you defend yourself on your website, and how you look forward to the key things that you might be concerned could happen, and address and mitigate some of those risks today. Third, we provide a customized framework to help clients measure where you are now, and to help you work out how to improve your corporate communications and your reputation online today. Fourth, we have approaches and strategies to help improve the way you use content. Whether that's identifying better infographics, diagrams, and so on to illustrate particular messages and, and themes, or whether to use existing content better. Many co companies spend lots of money on very nice annual reports, analyst presentations, and so forth, but they fail to then use that as well as they could across the site so that all stakeholders can understand the messages better. Last, if you do all of those things, you will improve your market position, whether that's how you compare to your peers or how you're perceived by your stakeholders. Through those services, we will help improve your business. If you're interested in what I've talked about, please do contact us. Our contact details are on our website, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.